Hello friends, how are you? My name is Rizwan Afiz and we were talking about the viruses. We have talked about the steps involved in uh, viral infection. We have also talked about different types of uh, classification like Baltimore classification. And in that classification, we talked about different types of viruses, DNA viruses, RNA viruses, single strand DNA viruses, double strand DNA viruses. So in today's video, we will talk about the replication of DNA viruses. So before uh, moving toward the replication process involved in the DNA viruses, first of all, let's talk about some type, some examples of DNA viruses, some common examples. So to remember the name of uh, common examples of DNA viruses, here, here is a very important uh, mnemonic, HHA triple P Y, happy. Okay. So these DNA viruses are very happy. So H for HEPA DNA, H herpes virus. A. Adenovirus, P. Pox virus, P. Parvovirus, and the last P is uh, Papova virus. Okay, so they, here are some common examples of DNA viruses. All the, these uh, viruses are basically double stranded DNA viruses. Okay, except this Parvovirus. This virus is only a single stranded DNA. There are some other examples as well, but uh, uh, if we talk about these viruses, this uh, parvovirus is only a single stranded DNA virus. Okay, you can also see that all these viruses are basically uh, having linear DNA, except the HEPA DNA virus and Papova virus. They have circular DNA. Okay, and you can also see that all these viruses for the replication, they need to get entered into the nucleus of the host cell. After getting into the cytoplasm, they will get into the nucleus for their replication except the pox virus this virus can replicate outside of the nucleus into the cytoplasm of the host cell so first of all let's talk about this pox virus and then we will talk about uh, other types of viruses okay so here you can see i have made a pox virus on the pox virus two types of genes are present uh, early genes early transcribed genes and late genes these blue genes are for example late gene and these green genes are early genes. So when the early genes will get transcribed and after transcription messenger RNA will be formed and when this messenger RNA will attach on the ribosome of this host cell and proteins will be formed. The first proteins formed from the early genes, they will not be structural protein. They will be functional protein. There will be some kind of enzymes like enzymes required for the DNA replication. Okay, the no no structural protein will be formed from the early phase trans, uh, early phase genes transcription of early phase gene. So when these genes will be uh, let me write early genes when these genes will get transcribed after transcription and translation, uh, functional protein enzymes like polymerase DNA polymerase will be formed. Now this polymerase it will help this DNA to replicate. To make different copies to make different copies now what will happen with the help of these enzymes this dna will start replicating the whole process of replication i have explained in my other videos uh, with the title of a dna replication you can uh, learn from there okay so uh, dna copies have been formed by the enzyme polymerase and where this enzyme come uh, after the transcription of early genes. Now what will happen? Late genes, of the expression of late genes, when these genes will get transcribed, obviously uh, late genes will be present over there as well. Okay, when these late genes will get transcribed and get translated proteins will be formed. Now those proteins will not be functional protein, they will be structural protein. The protein that are involved in the uh, formation of capsid, formation of envelope, if it is an enveloped virus. Okay. So uh, by the expression of late gene, some structural protein will be formed. Structural protein will be formed. Okay. Now what will happen? These structural protein will start assembling against the DNA and new copies of virus will be formed. New copies of virus will be formed. So in this way, uh, the double-stranded DNA virus that replicate outside of the nucleus, uh, they will 
replicate. Now let's talk about the DNA viruses who will get entered into the nucleus and then they will replicate and produce new copies. Okay, here, here you can see a virus has been attacked, penetrated, enter into the uh, uh, cytoplasm uh, because of the endosomal lysosomal enzymes. Caps, uh, capsid will be digested and genome will be released out. All this process, all the four process attachment, penetration, replication, and assembly has been discussed in my previous video, Steps of Viral Infection. If you want to learn about these steps, you can watch my that video. Okay, now the virus has been come out of the uh, endosome. Now this virus need to get entered into the nucleus. Mostly DNA viruses will replicate into the nucleus. There are few examples which uh, I have explained like pox virus, it will replicate outside of the nucleus. Now when it will get entered into the nucleus, after getting entered into the nucleus, it will use host enzyme, host machinery, host uh, replicating machinery. Uh, DNA polymerase will be present in the uh, host uh, nucleus, uh, RNA polymerase will be present in the host nucleus. So it will use those enzyme for the replication and new DNA copies will be formed. Then again using host RNA polymerase, uh, RNA will be formed from these DNA. These are these are the green, these green are the RNA. Okay. First, uh, when it will get entered into the nucleus, it will start. It, it will make new copies by using host enzymes like DNA polymerase, for example. Again, after uh, uh, making uh, lots of copies, enzyme RNA will be formed from this DNA. RNA will be formed, and to make uh, RNA from DNA, RNA polymerase will be required, and those are uh, these DNA will use host RNA polymerase to make RNA from this DNA. Now what will happen? This DNA and RNA, now they will come out of the nucleus through the nuclear pore. They will come out of the nucleus. And uh, these RNA, they will attach with the ribosome. They will attach with the ribosome and new structural protein will be formed. And these structural protein will uh, assemble against the DNA and new viral copies will be formed. Okay. Now, now here you can see another type of uh, double-stranded virus that is gap DNA. Here you can see that uh, one strand is complete. Like for example, here I, I'm uh, the blue is uh, negative strand of DNA and red is positive strand of DNA. Here you can see that uh, blue strand is complete while red strand is not complete. This is the example of basically hepatitis B viruses. So there are some double-stranded DNA viruses who are not complete. There is some kind of gap is present between them. So until this gap is being filled, the process of replication cannot take place. The process of replication cannot take place. So this is the reason they are called as gap DNA virus. Okay. And example, I have explained that hepatitis B virus uh, have a uh, gap DNA virus. It also have a RNA. Uh, along with it. So first of all, when it will get entered into the nucleus, so obviously the hepatitis uh, why hepatitis B virus is basically a circular virus, virus. But to make you understand in a better way, I will show uh, in a linear uh, linear method. Okay. So here you can see that this gap, this gap is present. Okay. Now what will happen when this virus will get entered into the host cell like hepatocyte? First of all, this gap will be completed. This gap will be completed by enzyme DNA polymerase. Okay, this gap will be completed. Now this is a complete gap, covalently uh, linked circular DNA. Okay, the, when this uh, gap will be completed, this enzyme, this now this DNA will be called as covalently linked circular DNA. RNA will be removed from it. Okay, and now this is a complete double-stranded DNA. Gap has been filled in the host cell. Now, now uh, I'm going to talk about very interesting thing. Please stay with me. Now this double-stranded DNA, after filling up gap, now this double-stranded DNA, it will be uh, converted into RNA. After the transcription, it will be converted into RNA. Now these RNA will be formed. Now there are two side uh, things will be happening side by side. One, this RNA will attach on the ribosome and new protein will be formed. New protein will be formed. At the same time, this RNA, it will convert into negative DNA strand, this negative blue, negative DNA strand with the help of enzyme reverse transcriptase. What is transcription? 
transcription is convert uh, dna formation of rna from dna dna to rna is called as transcription so here rna is converting into dna strand so obviously the enzyme will be uh, the enzyme that required is called as reverse transcriptase enzyme okay by using reverse transcriptase enzyme this rna will be converted into negative strand of dna and then by using uh, another enzyme this dna will make a complementary strand against its parent strand and a double stranded dna will be formed okay in this way new copies of dna will be found in the hepatitis b virus that that traditional way of making copy like from one dna will be converted into lots of other cop uh, dna copies it will not be followed in the case of hepatitis b virus in this case the dna will convert into rna and from rna new dna strand will be formed so this method of uh, replication is followed in the hepatitis b virus that is also a double stranded virus so uh, virus has been formed and some of the rna they will attach on the, obviously there is it's not like only one rna will be formed it will keep on uh, transcribing keep on transcribing and some lots of rna will be formed some rna will follow this path and dna will be formed some rna will attach on the ribosome and they will form structural protein now what will happen these protein they will come and uh, they will assemble over the dna and new viral copies will be formed so in this way our dna can uh, double stranded dna viruses can replicate they can replicate outside of the cytoplasm they can replicate inside the nucleus they can replicate uh, by uh, intermediate rna and uh, there is another possibility if a dna is single stranded dna if a dna is single stranded dna so for example uh, well the replication of single strand dna will be explained in the later part of the video i will explain it in a detail so if i will explain right now uh, you will mix up the thing so please watch my next video to understand the mechanism of replication of single strand dna this was a replication of double stranded dna viruses thank you so much